This is the Acupuncturist on Fire podcast. The only acupuncture podcast where you will hear from business insiders, fellow acupuncturists, and be inspired to be the best acupuncturist you can be. Now, here's your host, AJ Adamchik. This is AJ Adamchik. Welcome to the Acupuncturist on Fire podcast. Today, we are going to get an introduction to community acupuncture. And to help teach you about this, I have Danielle Lichtenfeld here on the line with me. How are you doing, Danielle? Hey, how are you? Good, good, good. So why don't you tell the audience a little bit about yourself and how you got into acupuncture? Um, so I was um, I graduated Montclair State with my bachelor's in psych. I decided not to continue with that. Um, I was working in retail for a couple months. Um, I also worked at a theater. I ended up getting laid off and decided to go back to school for nursing. Didn't love it. Um, so my boyfriend at the time was like, hey, a friend of mine is in acupuncture school. You should check it out. So I went to the school, looked at it, and just decided to sign up. I'd never had acupuncture before. Wow, never. You, were what, you were one of those people? <laughs> yeah, I was. Yeah, I just was like, oh, this is cool. I'm just going to come and do this. You know, what do I have to lose? That's funny. So there you go. So uh, <laughs> for the audience, just so you guys know this, but me and Danielle were actually classmates in college, and we actually commuted Molt, like almost all the time to class and it's pretty funny now that you know we're here now both working in the acupuncture world and stuff and you know we're going to be sharing this great knowledge about community acupuncture that Danielle practices and everything so Danielle why don't you tell the audience a little bit about exactly what is community acupuncture and you know what is the model all about Okay, well, so the idea behind community acupuncture is to make it more acupuncture more affordable and available to everyone. Um, acupuncture works best when it's done regularly. The community al- model allows for people to have affordable treatment without insurance. Um, clients and or patients are treated in the same room, which allows for group healing. I kind of think of it, of it as if I'm taking a group yoga class and we're all kind of breathing and moving together. Um, needles are generally inserted on the face, the neck, the um, below the knees and below the elbows, but sometimes I do some on the abdomen, especially if somebody's coming in for um, digestive issues or fertility. Okay. Um, and pretty much anything can be treated anywhere in the body, distally or locally, which is the great thing about acupuncture. Of course, yeah, depending on what style you're using, and obviously, yeah. you know, you could model your style to fit that and everything. So it's it's definitely a very very cool thing, and I always was very you know, interested in it, but I'm like one of those guys that's like, all right, deep needles, you know, in (laughs) it right into the butt for sciatic pain. So it's like, all right, there's no way I could ever do that for with community, but I totally think it's such a cool idea. And, you know, so many people probably have interest in it. And I'm sure people sitting on this call that are like, wow, I totally, maybe I do want to get into it. You know, maybe they want to know a little bit more about it. Um, so why don't you give us like three pros of like what of of the positivity of community acupuncture that you see that why someone maybe would do it or should do it um for the so, acupuncturist not for the client this is for the you know what i mean so three pros for the for the for the acupuncturist so i would say the best part of it is that we can there's no room turnover we can treat more people um more people at once. Um, we use a silent secretary, so we don't need to hire somebody and pay somebody extra money to schedule for us or take payments. We use an online scheduler, so that makes it convenient for us and for the patient. Um, they can schedule within an hour of the appointment. So let's say somebody wants to come in at two, they can only book up until one on the online scheduler. Okay. Um, so that makes it, you know, so we usually know what our schedule is going to be. Um, we usually only take check or cash as payment, so that cuts out credit card costs. Um, and also the, you know, and I think all these things kind of benefit the patient because of these things, we are able to keep the cost down for ourselves and for them oh, of so course. they can come in for treatment more regularly. Exactly. So they can, so they're not afraid like, oh, well, I can't afford to come in three times this week. So it allows for them to get the treatment they need. Um, so it definitely is a great model for maybe, maybe a community that, you know, is maybe that that not as wealthy of an area that this would be a great model to go into a community like that with. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So, uh, you know, maybe like, you know, there's always the negative parts of things. So maybe like, what are three negatives that you see within the model? Um, 
I would say sometimes if clients like if you have like an older patient or if you have somebody who needs a, like more of a local treatment, we do have two private rooms, but I know that not all office spaces have that. Some community offices only have just the one big room. So yeah. for us, it makes it simple. We can just bring them into a private room and treat them. Um, but I can, I can see the space limitations if you wanted to do needling on the trunk or the, you know, on areas that we can't really get to if somebody's laying in a chair on their back. Awesome. But, for the most part, I mean, all the points we treat with distally treat those areas also. So it's, I think it just comes down to a preference in a in the practitioner. Okay. So what, um, like what supplies are needed, say, for community acupuncture? And like, how many people do you see in a shift? Um, so most of my shifts range anywhere. Usually they're about four hours. We book about Every 15 minutes, we'll book somebody, so about four an hour. If somebody's a new patient or a new client, we'll book a half an hour out for them So because they take more time because you do the initial intake. Sometimes they need to fill out paperwork. Um, initial treatment is $45, and follow-ups are 30 which tends to be around the same amount as somebody's you know, specialist copay. And a lot of people that have out-of-network benefits will will give them the information so they can submit it to their insurance companies. And most insurance companies will reimburse them anywhere from 80 to 100% for that fee. Okay, awesome. So, like, what supplies do, um, you know, say the acupuncturist that's listening to this call and they're like, wow, I really think that maybe I do want to maybe get into community acupuncture. What supplies do they need to maybe start up a clinic? Like, what's in your clinic that you work within? We use um, anti grab They're called anti gravity lounge chairs. You, I've seen them in Costco and yeah. you know Walmart or Target or whatever. They're really comfortable lounge chairs. We usually each one has a headrest, and um, we put clean towels on that headrest for each each client. And there's usually a pillow that we have to keep behind their knees. Um, blankets, like comfy blankets. Um, we use infrared heat lamps needles obviously and we also do sometimes we do moxa and sometimes we do cupping actually i do a lot of cupping and we have a separate if somebody doesn't want to come in for acupuncture they can just schedule and we can just do cupping on them and you do cupping right on the on the right on the chairs or do you take them into, you the, pull separate... them into the private room okay you yeah. in the private rooms um do you find yourself like you know ever feeling rushed in that type of model in this model like running around from person to person no more than my other offices. I also work out of two other offices where I do private treatments as well. And I would say that in the community acupuncture office, it's a lot, it's it's pretty low, st low stress. Um, it could be because the space is so relaxing, but I think it's also, you know, we book people at a certain time and it always works out. So if somebody comes in late, it means that somebody else was early, you know, so it always kind of works itself out. I don't ever feel like I'm you know, overwhelmed or running around. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. You've gotten used to it and stuff. Yeah. Just like any job, you know, or anything else, you know, even in the single, single person, single room model, you know, you're going to feel overwhelmed at the beginning and you're going to get, you know, better at it. Exactly. So for the new acupuncturist, maybe coming out of school, would you recommend them maybe going into this model? You know, I, I think that it's it was probably my favorite way to practice. I love going into that space, being busy, um, you know, going from person to person and working things out and being on my toes. I would definitely recommend it. It might not be for everybody because you definitely have to think quickly and um, you definitely move around probably a little bit more. <clears throat> but I think that it would be important for somebody just coming out of school to see ac community acupuncture and also see how it is in all different offices. Yeah, yeah. Just so they get a feel of what they like, what they don't like. For sure. So where are you, um, where, where is this community acupuncture that you're located? Like where, and what's the name of it? Where, where is it that maybe the acupuncture that's listening to this call could, you know, if they know anybody in the area, they could actually recommend them a uh, person to you. We are located in Ocean Township, right across from the Wanamasa Firehouse. Um, our office name is the Zenden Center of New Jersey. We have, we have, besides acupuncture, we have Reiki, reflexology, we do crystal bowl meditation classes, um, yoga. We have a whole, you know, schedule of things. All right. So, and then uh, what's your guys' website? It is the Zenden Center of New Jersey.com. Let me just double check that for you. All right. So I'll put that up in the link for the, uh, for the listener that, you know, if anybody you guys know in like, you know, that are located at the Jersey Shore, uh, Danielle's Zenden Center. So if anybody you know that's like, you know, they're for you know strapped for money and they you want to recommend someone that you know uh, a referral type thing you know send them over to see Danielle at the Zenden Center in Ocean Township New Jersey all right so Danielle before we go <laughs> what's, what's that 
I got the website wrong. I'm sorry. It's the Zen, it's zendencenter.com. Okay. So zendencenter.com. Um, they have an awesome model and it's definitely really, really cool. I've seen some pictures of what it looks like inside there. They have, um, it looks super relaxing. They have like stars on the ceiling and all this really cool stuff. And it just sounds, they do like bowl meditation and groups and all different groups, community stuff. So it's a really neat center. Um, but Danielle, before you go, um, can you give like one tip to say the listener that, you know, just needs some extra help or that push that they can really take from this call and, and implement or really take and inspire them? Um, I would say just go into any office that you want to work in, whether it's you're working for somebody else or working for yourself with an open heart and you know, just see what it feels right for you. Because ultimately, like you have to practice there. And it should feel good for you as well as your patient. Because if your heart is open, and it feels good for you, they're going to feel that they're going to want to come back and see you because it's authentic and genuine. Yeah, being your authentic self within your practice and within your everything. That's that's a huge one. I actually um, sat down with an, uh, a fellow acupuncturist named Allison Carr, who, you know, I think uh, she was on a, a earlier episode that she talked all about being your authentic self within your practice. And that's really what it's all about. And it was amazing stuff talking to her. You know, definitely should check that episode out. Um, so Daniel, I really want to thank you for coming on. And uh, it was awesome having you. Thank you for having me. All right. So anybody check out, uh, you know, Danielle Lichtenfeld over at the Zen Den Center, New Jersey, refer her patients over. And uh, definitely if you have any questions, you know, you could get, um, information from Danielle. She's actually uh, on Instagram at what is it? Yogi? Yogi underscore peanut. <laughs> and then uh, so Yogi underscore peanut. And she's uh, on Instagram there. So you can contact her there. And she does all types of crazy yoga poses and <laughs> doing weird stuff with her puppy and stuff like that. So it's it's awesome stuff. So check her out there. And uh, we'll catch you on the next episode. This has been the Acupuncturist on Fire podcast with AJ Adamchick. To continue being inspired, head over to acupuncturistonfire.com and find AJ on Instagram at acupuncturistonfire.